coming. Keep watching OXL TV. Don't touch it. I don't know what's in this TV station. And you touch the TV. You'll be shocked. Hello everyone, welcome to City Gist with Sister Tammy. Today on City Gist, I'll be giving you some did you know facts. Did you know that it's actually illegal to feed pigeons in San Francisco? Yes. So when you go there for visitation, just make sure you can do anything, but make sure that you don't feed the pigeons that you see on the sidewalk or on the street because it is actually illegal. Sure, a sprinkle of bread comes to feed on birds and it seems harmless, but in the popular California city, you could get into trouble. San Francisco Public Work Department explained this law is in place because there are dozens of reasons why you shouldn't feed your new pigeon friends. But mainly, feeding pigeon arms our neighborhood and also arms the birds. Well, I don't know how feeding a pigeon would actually arm the neighborhood or the birds, but is best known to them so when you are going on vacation to san francisco make sure you don't feed any pigeon so that you wouldn't get into any trouble then fact number two did you know that there's actually a toilet museum yes there's a toilet museum in new delhi the sulab international museum of toilets features a rare collection that details the historic evolution of toilets from two that details the historic evolution of toilets from 2005 BC all the way up to the present day when you browse through the exhibits you will learn about the public system of the ancient society marvel at the elaborately decorated toilets of 18th and 19th century Europe and even get to sit upon one from Austria that is shaped like a lion. Hmm. So when next you're on vacation and you go to you and you go to Indian, you visit you go to so when next you are on your vacation in New Delhi, you can actually try and go and see the toilet museum and maybe sit on the lion toilet. But as for me, Nay, 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 nay. I'm not interested. I will pass. I will pass. Then again, on our third fact, did you know that three U.S. presidents have won the Grammys? Three U.S. presidents actually won the Grammys. Former President Jimmy Carter has won three Grammys Award in the Best Spoken Word Album category. The first one was for one Endangered Values. America moral crisis in 2007. Next came a full life reflection at 90 in 2016. Finally, fate a journey for all in 2019. Then also we have um, in 2024 we have Bill Clinton. He won the best spoken word album for my life. Just a year prior to 2023, he won the best spoken word album for children with prophetic Peter and the Wolf. Then finally, Barack Obama has won a couple of golden megaphones of his own. He won best spoken word album in 2006 for the narration of his book, Dream from My Father Audiobook. In 2008, he took up another one when he took home the Grammy for Best Spoken Word Album for the audiobook version of the Audacity of Hope. So that is all. Then before I go, have you heard that you can now have your international passport in the comfort of your house? You don't have to start going to immigration office, the stress and everything. You can actually do away with that now. Now it's possible for you to actually have your passport, your Nigerian passport, your international passport at the comfort of your own. And you just need some simple steps to follow and with that you are good to go. First, you have to visit their website, HHSP Passport. First, you have to visit their website, passport.immigration.gov.ng. 
after that you will complete the required data fields upload your passport photograph that meets the icao standard the passport photograph must meet the standard of icao and other supporting documents then you can walk into any of the immigration office for your biometric capture after that your passport is ready and voila within two weeks you are good to go you can go for collection then if you are a fresh applicant things that are required for you to have is you must be a nigerian then you must have your nin you must have your passport photograph that meets the icao standards and your supporting documents that is your um birth certificate and also your governor local government certificate that local government i think i think this is they're just coming up with the local government certificates because i don't think they were using that before i think this is actually a new development the local government certificates then for those that are renewing their passports all you need is your nin your old passport number your passport photograph that meets the icao standard then your supporting documents that is your certificate birth certificate and also your local government certificate so with this you are good to go you can have your international passport done at the comfort of your home so that is all for did you know so please kindly follow us on all our social media pages on youtube on facebook on twitter tiktok or excel tv and watch every content that will be dropping soon interesting and educative series that will be coming your way 